Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. So today, you guessed it, we're playing and painting lilacs. I love lilacs. I love the smell of lilacs. I love when lilacs come out. We're getting close to that season. It's my favorite, favorite part of spring season is when the lilacs are in bloom. So I'm going over techniques that I use to paint simple lilacs without having to get into super details of little tiny little blooms that you see on a lilac um, bushes. And we're using a these colors here that I love from Holbein, Ultramarine, Ultramarine Deep, Lilac, and Verdier Blue, and just, you know, simple, t simple leaves, just simple techniques. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Let me know if you love to paint lilacs. Uh, what's your favorite flower for spring? I'd love to hear what your favorite flower is. Um, also check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials, and a live stream in the top tier. It's just a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. We also have a Facebook group where we um, share paintings, and I have a weekly challenge, and a monthly giveaway. Yep. And the traceables are not for every single tutorial, but the traceables that come with the tutorials are on my Patreon. So without further ado, let's get painting lilacs. Okay, so for this video, let's go for supplies. I'm using, again, I love this paper, uh, the Fabriano Aquarella watercolor, 100% cotton, cold press, block. I like it because it's bright white. Um, I'm playing with some brushes today. I'll be playing with my Princeton Neptune number 12, the Filbert number 8, and possibly my number 12 Aqua Elite, and my 8 Long Round Velvet Touch Series. We'll see which ones I'm. I'll have them all listed in the description. Uh, some paints. We play with Holbein's Lilac. We have Verdier Blue. We'll be using the Ultramarine Deep Blue, as well as the other colors that I normally use. So I kind of just really rough sketched in like where I want to put the lilacs and see how I just kind of like do 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 kind of like in a triangle, but like a little rounder on the bottom. So it's like a round, almost like a teardrop, but only a little bumps and ridges around then some little stems coming out this way and this way and it's just a loose lilac it's nothing serious so let's mix up some color here um, like I said I have that lilac color it's already perfectly pretty and the perfect color you can take it right out of the tube and then we have that verdier blue mine's kind of mixed up with some of the colors over here and I mixed it with the lilac look at that nice pretty color Ooh, that's so pretty we'll get a little deeper with some ultramarine blue mixing in, you know, here and there with the, um, I have the bright rose, or you can mix them with magenta. I'll grab some bright rose. Makes a nice little purple lilac color. See that? So that's a little deeper. We got three tones here going. You can make yours bluer, pinker, whatever you want to do. Now I've got the number 12. Up. Neptune series, and I'm just going to loosen up some more of this lilac color, and this will be our first wash. And I'm just going to kind of tap it. You see, just tippy tapping the color, leaving some white space, and I'll tap some out here. This is the first kind of initial wash. Just going to put this. See, I'm just tapping pushing down on the paint. I'm just really just touching the paper lightly, putting a few like light taps. Now it's pretty watery. It's almost like a consistency of tea. I think of tea, coffee, milk, those kind of things. And you'll see how it's kind of pooling in some areas and it's not in others. I'm getting that first color wash down. I'm leaving a lot of whites in between. And I'm gonna put some down here, just again, tapping almost like a ball I'm putting down here you can wash in more color if you want at this point I can grab some of this other purple color this and again I'm just tapping leaving the space look at that it already looks like lilacs right just getting in here and tapping color I'm tapping that bluish color here you can make it pinker and purpler I'm grabbing that purple color see Again, just tippy tapping. As you know, the lilacs have, they're like little teeny flowers. And so you can paint the little teeny flowers and make yourself crazy. Or you can do something like, like this. You can just do like the little, see, the little teeny flowers. Doop, 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 doop. One, two, three, four. One, two, 
three, four, you see that? That would be the lilac, but you know, you would go nuts trying to paint all that detail. And I just kind of just do a little tapping with mine. And I'm gonna put some over here. You can get a little bit bigger in some of these if you want. See, one, two, three, four, maybe five. Just taking my brush. This is the number 12. And you can see some actual petals on these ones. You want a variety of all the tippy tapping and the petals. And if you want to go and grab some deeper color, again, you're going to start to play around with that. You see that? Tapping, tippy tap. <laughs> um, I have like a set of stem up in here. I might start to grab this brush and get some purple color here and the blooms that are kind of like not totally bloomed yet see so here I'll grab a little burnt ember for the stem maybe mix with some little greenish brown so I'm going to grab some green I mixed up with this is uh, peacock blue and some yellow, and I'll make some, some little green here, a little green brown. Still using the number 12. If you want to switch to number 8 long round, do that. Just grabbing, making a little stem. See, a little stem. Get a little bit looser. stem there, a stem there. I'm going to put back and forth. Uh, kind of a stem coming out this way. And another one here. I kind of sketched it in, but I'm put it out with the paintbrush now. Oop, I got a little too thick there. I didn't intend for this part to be thick, but hey, it happens. And I'm just going to put some more stems out this way. Just like that. All right? I'm gonna water down the burnt umber with my number eight and start to put in a stem. Because they're like wooden stemmy kind of flowers. It's kind of coming from here, over in here. Now you could add a little purple to that. See? Blue, purple to this brown. Give it some color instead of just being a brown one note type of thing. Going back. I'm going to have some crisscross stems here. Now it's looking more interesting, right? We're getting somewhere. We've got flushed in, you know, washed in the, the first initial washes of the lilac and then the little ones down here. I might put like another one kind of bushy one there too and then we'll start to put in some leaves and we'll start to build the lilac so grab this color again verdia blue the lilac and this one i'll kind of just tap again if it gets too watery kind of tap it on a uh, paper towel or you can always tap it on a towel any kind of towel you have try to make this color a lot different to the other ones so it stands out and it's underneath this one again little taps out here and then we're going to start to play around with filling that in in here A deeper color purple that's a little too bright <laughs> maybe I add Prussian blue and bright rose not the purple, not so bright. I want it's looking too like purple, purpley, so I think I'm gonna add magenta. Yes, and some Prussian blue, and that's just a different type of purple. And maybe some more magenta. This was looking a little too blue, so I'll just kind of fix that. I'll clean it up by taking some water. And removing it. See, I'm just kind of tapping that, removing it, but it's still pretty. 
the tippy tabs under here keeping this stuff still light if it's getting too mushy you could lift it up a little bit with your brush and tap it back on your towel again we're just doing some tippy taps getting back to my lilac again going in here kind of melding now now I'm going to start to build in here again taking my taps tippy tap want some ones to come out this way we haven't done leaves yet we'll be doing those in a second just doing the taps another round keeping some of these light still on this side and some just kind of floating out this way and it really looks like beautiful lilacs and then over here I'm going to have some stems that are purple and lilacs coming off that so here we go just like a purple stem and little branches of lilacs kind of coming off that see they're like not formed into a, like a real big bushy kind of stem yet just kind of hanging out so I did like a little almost like a little branch off that and little taps I'll do another one here I'm grabbing all the different purples This is getting too thick, so I'm going to grab the number eight. Again, like that. If that makes sense, right? And those are your little halves. And you can do the same thing over in here, some of them over here. Little tippy taps. Make your little lilac. Isn't that cute? Have some more coming down here. So you don't need to show me. I mean, I don't need to show you. Like I showed you how to do that. You just kind of put some varieties around on some of these branches. It's getting back to this whole section. You still want to go on tap. If you want to use a filbert brush, this is great to make little petals. This is still very damp. This one in front. I'm go back in my my Verdier. So, just kind of pushing, and you have the petals. It makes those perfect little petals because it has it rounded. Um, on the brush you're just going to go on the side you can move it around I wouldn't do it all facing forward have some going on the side but this brush is great to get some more detail without having to do super detail painting and everything and I'm grabbing in just a light another pass of that lilac color and filling it in if you do the four petals, one, two, three, four, you can go back in and add a nice deeper, darker, like purple color in the middle, and they'll look like real petals of a lilac instead of just like those little blobs. You see that? You can go add a little bit of that dark purple. You're just building up. Your little lilac and it depends on how much you know how deep you want it in certain areas this is still damp on here but I'm gonna still dot tap it in the deeper color still kind of bleeding you play around with this little brush if you don't have this little brush you can still just tap with the other one you don't have to have a filbert brush. 
It just makes really cute little petals. And I find it fun to play with. See? Just doing that. Take your time. You'll be doing another round of just a um, lilac color on top of the other light one. It takes time to build this. All right, we're still going to build this, but meanwhile, we're going to we're going to work on some leaves, right? I'm using the number eight long round. I've mixed some green up, so I've used ultramarine blue and some yellow, and I've added a little paint gray to that. And we're just going to make simple leaf shapes. So you're going to curl like here and here. I'm going to grab a little water and push down. Simple leaf shapes. Take the tip of your brush and pull it in to the stem. Or you can do it vice versa. So here's the stem. Pull out, connect them. This is a little bit dry, so I'm gonna grab some water and just kind of fill them in. Just like so. It doesn't have to be super pointy. Just simple leaves like that. We can make them a little bit lighter on one side. a little white in the middle and we'll make it a little bit darker on the other side and add a little brown play around with the color yeah might have a little curly cue left to fix that well now you can just use one brush to do compound strokes if that's easier for you what do I mean by that? Well, that's why I have the number 12 here. Just a big old number 12. Get some water on there. Grab your paint. And you're just going to tap, push down, pull back up. So, I'm here. Push down and lift up. And you have the stroke that you need. That's it. Yeah, I'm going to do it again. Get me some paint. That kind of the color I want. Try to mix up the right color. You need to mix up a good amount. <laughs> so, that's right here. Just tap, push down, and lift up. I'm gonna connect that. This is a compound strokes. And lift up. And that's what we're doing. You can do vice versa. Push down, pull back, and lift. Now, if you want it pointier, you might want to use this. This point is kind of dulled. The number eight was great for that because it's a much pointier. But you can use the same thing on the number eight. The leaves will be skinnier, but you can play around with that. Push down, pull back up, and connect it. Fill that in. Since this has a nicer point, and you just have to put some leaves around here whatever way you feel fit. Um, wherever you want your leaves. I'm just going to haphazardly stick leaves around. This one would go over here. Even if it goes over the purple, it doesn't matter. It's still very interesting. Right? Grabbing the browns. Again. Leaves. Attaching them to the stem. And the stem in here, and you're just going to start to put some leaves now. They can crisscross over each other so they kind of overlap, look a little bit more interesting, even in the purple. Maybe get a little bit darker, I'm adding in some Prussian blue, some brown. Just filling in some of the gaps. And in, even in between the lilac itself, a little green in here. See now it's coming alive. Gonna have some stems, brown, connecting, coming back down here. 
we're just going to be playing around with adding in these same little purple um, leaves. I mean, excuse me, purple. Um, <laughs> my brain fog. The ones that are not open, the the buds. Crisscrossing some of these here. So I'm gonna play around with that. Oops. So I filled in some more leaves here, and you can grab another pass of your color and go in and put in a stem, or you can make one side a little bit darker, just to give it more variety in your leaves. You know, the whole glazing technique can go back over some of the areas to make it more interesting, right? Or just even put the vein in and get a little bit darker. If it's dried like this, when I hear it's dry, you put that color in here and this is how we blend it. So we've got this darker tone and you clean up your brush, grab a little water on your brush and it's just blending this leaf. See that? And you go back over the whole area and you can add this tone to this side. And blend it. And you have a variety of colors within your one leaf. I can add a little brown to that, or even a little purple. Because don't forget, we have a lot of purple. So bleed a little purple in there. Make it more interesting. The ones that are dried, you can go back over them with some purple to make them a little more interesting too. See, it went right on top of that color glazed it with a little purple. Makes it more interesting. A little darker values in here. You see that? Just little tricks you can do with your leaves. Again, I go might go back in and add some purple tones to the leaves. Just like that. Right? And then I would go back and take my smaller brush again, this little filbert. Mm, adding a little ultimate blue to this color. And again, you can do those little unopened little lilacs. Kind of fun and pretty. Tippy tapping. If this brush is hard for you to use, just use another brush. And again, so that we have all those colors again, do another pass. Just until you feel satisfied with how it's turning out with the lilacs. I go back out here, add a little purple color that's different than the one we put down. You can take your Number eight, long round, get a deeper color purple. And if you did the little stems, you can put a little dot in between the little blooms. See? Make a four petal or five petal bloom and just throw in a deeper, darker dot. And it look a little more realistic. You can make yourself crazy painting them though. I just like to do like the little tapping method. Now again, if this is kind of looking, to me it's looking a little stiff, I'm going to go back in and take my color with my number 12 Neptune series, and I'm going to add some taps, kind of blend them. I just feel like it's too stiff, not soft enough. So we can kind of blend them, so then you have all of those little blooms that were kind of serious, and then you tippy tap, and then you have definition of the but then just kind of blending that in as well I sometimes just don't like the stiffness so I will go back in and play around with it like I said you play around with this yourself adding some more of those little blooms out this way 
I'll start to get a little deeper color too with the ultimate blue. A little bit of this lilac. I'll add some bright rose. Or even some magenta. Get even darker still. The consistency would be more like um, milk to cream at this point. I'm just tippy tapping again. Getting a little bit darker. Maybe more magenta mixed in. Getting some darker tones in here. Play around with it. It kind of look like it's, looks like it's all just in one section here, so I'm going to kind of move it out a little bit. And around what the green is. Just keep playing till you feel like yours is the color tones that you want. Let's see, all I'm doing is just tapping. Nothing special. Moving the brush around. And again, you can add variety with the color. I'm going to get a little bit blue in this time. It's up to you. To be tap. Put some down in here too. You're going to look around your composition and see where you're missing. You want some color. Little ones, little sporadic ones out here. Play around. That's how you figure it out. Okay, I'll go back in here and get this deeper color. I want some up here. And I'll add some more leaves. Keep some of this light. And that's pretty much how I do my lilacs. Now this kind of all blended. You can kind of lift it a little bit. Just kind of tap it. And you can go back. And you can actually use this lilac color like straight from the tube. It's fantastic. I can go over some of these dark areas if you don't like it. And what would be fun, you know, really take some paint, loosen it up. Get a little splatter action going up in here. Not too much. Just adds a little something. You don't want to keep it too serious. Down here. Oops. See, sometimes that happens. Pip towels are close by to stop that. So here I'm like, I don't like this section. I will go back in and add maybe some other branches and play around with that. You have to just figure out what works for you. Mm -hmm. Add some branches and I'll add some more leaves. Little leaves, even if they're coming off the page, it doesn't matter. It's just more interesting if they're off the page and you know just sitting all in the center dark ones light ones and I'll go back in here and I'll kind of fill in some more leaves in here can add a little purple to them color just so it's not one note purple leaves back here fill it in And just keep playing around. The leaves could be more, much more loose if they wanted to make them looser. And adding the little lines. It's up to you. You just play around with that. Go back in and make it a little bit darker. Have another one overlap. You can do leaves all day. <laughs> and there's my lilacs. I do think I'm going to add some more leaves down here. Simple little one. See, just push down, pull back, push down. Almost like gray, purple tones. Just 
just keep playing with all your stuff. That's all I can say. Like that. Do a bunch of those all around. So, I hope this was helpful if you wanted to paint some lilacs. Wait till this dries, add some more color. And if you know, if you messed up, you can always add a little white gouache. My little trick. So here's the white gouache. I've added it into the lilac color. You can come back in and go right on top and mix the color in. If you messed up a little bit, it's got too dark. It's a little trick. And you have your color back. That's the way you do it. That's the way I would do my lilacs. And I'm going to fill in a little bit more stems up in here. Playing around. Ta da! <laughs> also, if you want to really highlight some of the little petals, take a darker color with the number eight and make them one, two, three, four, three, like this. Just draw them in on some of these. Doesn't have to be super dark, but you can draw them in. So I hope this was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. You're just tippy tapping the shapes, color. Um, I love these colors from Holbein. There you go. The lilacs are done. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you haven't hit that bell notification button, please do so. And I hope you have a fantastic day and take care and I'll speak to you soon.